So come on, guys. You know, um, it's another week. So like I promised um, yesterday, I wanted to do quick, quick, uh, quickly do a quick video. You know, um, if you recall last week that I did the analysis about uh, Bitcoin price, uh, like I said, I, I, I would like to address this issue. I've had people send me messages and they're always asking, why do I always just focus on, uh, on Bitcoin price? If you are in the in the in the WhatsApp in the paid WhatsApp group, you will, you will understand that I didn't just focus on Bitcoin price, <laughs> or just for the purpose of uh, the people of uh, of everybody. Uh, let me let me address the matter again. The reason is simple: uh, Bitcoin drives the market. That's the truth. Every other every other altcoins, you know, follow the price of Bitcoin. You know, so that's why. Uh, we pay so much attention to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes up, the altcoins goes up. If Bitcoins come down, altcoins come down. And Bitcoin being the major, the major currency that drives our market right now, as at, at, at this morning, is at sixty-four percent of the market. So that tells you why everybody is saying person will pay attention to Bitcoin price. You know. So I've already said that so last week I was talking about the price of uh, Bitcoin and I did an analysis about how the market is, is moving, what is likely to happen. You know, I, I was using this chart, you know, the Forex chart. I like using it because it's very, very, very open, you know, and uh, I spoke about the fact that there's a resistance and all that. So let me use, let me use this chart. I'll be using it interchangeably anyway. So if you look at this, uh, the price, like yesterday I had an, uh, on a group, some group of guys were like, ah, Bitcoin price is falling. I was just laughing. And it's going to crash, it's going to crash. I was laughing and I told them, I said, there's a support around there. And it's likely to go back up. They were like, no, how do I know? I said, okay. So I was laughing. So, and, and then it actually went back up. The reason is not far-fetched. There's a there's this, uh, there's a 50 day moving average around this area this blue this blue line you know um, that has formed you can see that that price was was standing on you know like a support it's a support here okay so and it has failed it has not broken it in a while so like a couple of days it's been bouncing off this thing. About one, two, three, four, almost six days. So anytime, anytime it touches this, it bounces. You know. So and I knew that this is going to hold. It's likely to hold this ground because nobody knows what the market is going to do anyway. I will say that. You can see that the support holds. You know. So last week I said, um, see that, see that the price uh, comes down, or goes up. Depending on how strong the support and the resistance around this zone is going to hold. So there was a bounce yesterday. You can see that there's a, if I go to the lower time frame, it forms something like a, I'm sorry, Let's see, okay. Let's see on the four hour chart. On the four hour chart, you can see that there's a, there's an armor that was formed on this support. This 9,400 axis, this axis. So it bounces back up and it comes to this, you know, there's a resistance here at 9,800 zone. So that it came down again. So what we are going to likely experience in the coming days, the price testing all this resistance and support zone. So the, the, the next likely place is this axis, 9,800 zone, okay. If uh, if uh, the price, I don't know, the price breaks the 9,800 zone, this is a stand zone, 9,873 zone, we'll see another uh, to move to this to this resistance zone, and the 10,000, you know, 200. If it's broken, we'll see it around this area, 10,385 zone. So there's a, the market is still like in a, in what I call in a range, like you see on this chart, I just like this uh, channel I draw. So you can see that this is, uh, this seems to be the resistance or this to be the supposed. So it's still ranging. 
until there's a breakout. It's, it's, and like I said last week, it either breaks out of this zone to the up from, to the uptrend or to the downtrend. So either way, you know, if it breaks to the uptrend, we'll sit around this area. It's uh, the twelve thousand dollars axis. That's the there's a there's a resistance there too. It breaks that resistance. If you see it around this area, the ten thousand, the thirteen thousand zone, which was the highest it did last year. This is the highest that we did last year. The thirteen thousand eight hundred and sixty-four you know, zone. So that is just my take. So so the thing is just enjoy the but for me, I can take a position, I'll be careful around this area, you know. And then if, if you are if you are if you are trading around this area, just be careful. It could breaks could breaks either way. It breaks either way. But you know, looking at the the armor that has formed there, we should see price most definitely at least in the next couple of days, maybe today or tomorrow or next tomorrow, depending on the volatility in the, in the market. We should see it at least touch the ten thousand three hundred axis. You know, at least to touch around this axis. So that's just my that's just my take for the for today. Thank you very much.